Hi everyone, um, Lauren here. I hope you're all well. Um, if you live in the UK right now, you will know what crazy, horrible weather we've been having. It's been so rainy and I've been trying to get a day where it's light enough um, in the shop for ages and I can't. So um, I'm in my house in my sort of dining area where I've got my kind of sewing machine set up in the back. Um, I had to just bite the bullet and make a video even though it's quite dark and rainy. So I'll just try it out for the first time. Um, so yeah, today I'm talking to you about the Bettine dress that I've made, which I've got on here. Um, it's a Tilly in the Buttons pattern. It's been around since last um, July, I think. So it's been around for a while, so some of you might know it already, um, but I made a sort of um, different version and I put a button, button placket at the front, um, but I put snaps in instead, um, and that was just to make it a little bit easier um, while I still have to feed baby Sophia and um, sometimes in the day although she is eating food now um, so yeah I've so in the blog post I'll, I've sort of given a link of how to add this on it's actually really easy and um, the front bodice normally is just cutting the fold but um, if you just cut cut it out a little bit away from the fold so you've got like a bit of a space between your pattern and the fold and then actually just cut it in half you can sort of fold it back and create the placket so it's quite an easy way to do it and um, it means you don't have to cut out a separate bit of fabric but I made a tutorial about that um, a few years ago now so I've linked to that in the blog post and it's, it's dead easy to do um, so if you fancy just a different version of a Bettine then, it, then it's quite a good one um, so I really love the Bettine dress I'd, I'd, I'd made one um, not last summer, but the summer before, and I loved it, but it doesn't actually fit me at the moment. Um, and also it's a bit unfeeding friendly, so that's why I wanted to make this one, but it's got really cute little cuffs. Um, also with a little, I put a little popper there as well. Um, and then it's got these amazing deep pockets, which are really handy. Um, and then an elasticated waist, which you can see there. So it just gives it like a little bit of shape and it almost makes the, um, the bodice sort of just blouse up a little bit, which I think is nice. Um, and then it's quite fitted in the hips and sort of goes in so it's a little bit like a tulip shape um, in the skirt. I had to take the hips in a little bit in mine just because I'm not really that hippy um, but it's it's got quite a sort of loose comfortable feel anyway. Um, I used the cotton lawn to make mine which is, the cotton lawn's obviously quite thin and I was a little bit worried about it being a bit thin but actually I think it's fine and I know that I'm only going to be wearing it with tights or thick tights or leggings anyway so it's totally totally fine and um, I've got it I've got it on with some cool maroon tights today and um, which is fun but yeah I think I mean I'm standing right by the window and I don't think it the sun's the light shining through it too much at all and um, so yeah um, I'll show you the technical drawing as well for those of you that don't know the pattern so it's got these sort of kimono sleeves that are just grown on and you can do it without the pockets as well but who doesn't want pockets right um, so what I'm going to do is show you how to put these little poppers in um, I've used them quite a lot now and they're, they're really good fun to put in um, so you use these pliers here to put them on which are fun um, and you, they, they come with a little tool set so I'm going to show you a kind of close up um, of how to do that because it can be like a little bit confusing getting the bits the right way around um, and I actually made a mistake or when I was putting one of the, the cuff ones in um, and I ended up having to sort of cut it out with a pair of pointy scissors which is a little bit annoying and um, probably not the best for the scissors so it's worthwhile sort of checking and checking and checking when you when you come to put them in but I'm gonna um, I'll show you a close-up of my hand sort of doing it now and hopefully that will show you the right way to do it and you won't make a mistake like me. Okay, so as I showed you before, you can get the Vario pliers like this and they sort of come with a tool set um, built in. Um, this is a sort of newer version of the pliers that Prim brought out. Um, you can also get them with these sort of purple handles here, but with these ones, you have to buy the little tool set, which is the sort of ends that go on to the pliers here. You have to buy the tool set separately for, for these um, colour snaps. If you have this kind of one um, or if you get this one um, then the tool set comes included um, so they just sort of brought it out in a different way um, but you can see how it's just got these little holes here so you can use it to apply lots of different things color snaps rivets and um, like the 
um, yeah, various other things. And then you can, it sort of shows you here, so you can do there are the rivets there. Um, I think that's an aisle at one too. So you can use the vario pliers for different things depending on um, what you are using. Um, so yeah, you have to put your little tool set in. So that just kind of clicks into these bits here. It doesn't really matter what way round they go. Um, so this kind of white circle bit is where the, the outside of your colour snap is going to go. So for one snap, you need four bits. So you need two of these pins. So it's just a circle on the back um, with a little kind of spoke on it. And you can get different shapes as well. So you can get circles and lots of colours. You can get stars, which are quite cute. Um, and you can also get hearts too, It's nice. Um, so yeah, you need two of them. And then you also need a male and a female part which sounds a bit rude, but it's an easy way to um, get it the right way around. So you can see how that one, if I show you side on, it's got like a little bit that sticks up, whereas that one is kind of a bit flatter. So they are gonna fit together. Whoops. They are gonna fit together like that. So when you come to um, put it on, you just put that one in there and then you get your bit of fabric and you sort of sandwich that in between. I usually just pierce the fabric with that little um, prong bit. You could make a, a little hole in it beforehand if you wanted, but I usually just do it that way. Um, you would, I, I would recommend having interfacing as well um, when you do that. And then you get either your male or female part and you put that on top like that. So it's got like a little sandwich going on. You sort of squash it down and then you just close the pliers like that and you need to be like fairly strong so if you hold the pliers at the end you'll get more leverage so if you like give it a real good squeeze and you'll see that that little um sort of plastic bit there gets squashed a bit and then just let it go and then that's your stamp on so basically the prongs just got squashed and that's what flattens it so then you do your other side so put your little plastic bit in there again and then you're going to pierce your fabric with the spokes so just in the same way but then this time you're going to put your so i had done the female part before so then i'm going to do the male part with the sticky out bit <laughs> and then so you got that, that sandwich there and then you just give that squish as well so give a good squish really hard both hands and then let it go then both your um, bits are secured on and then you just get that satisfying click as you snap it together. There we go. And then you pull it apart. Snap. So if you get to this stage and you feel like you can't close it, because it should you should just sort of press it and it closes. If, it, if you're struggling to do that, you need to just give it another squeeze again with your pliers. So just put it back in again like that and then just give it another squeeze. It's probably just that you've not squished it hard enough. So you can just go back over and do that um, again. And that is how you put the colour snaps in. So it's really easy. It's really quick and satisfying. The main thing is you need to check, check, check that you've got your, your, your male part and your female part. That's what they look like. Put them side on so you can see the difference. So I hope you find that little close-up video useful. Um, if you do fancy having a go at making a bedding, it's really fun, it's really quick to make as well. I think it's a great everyday dress. Um, I'll put a link to my blog post as well where you can see more photos and I've got all the links to the pattern um, and the fabric that I've used too. Um, so yeah, I'll see you next time, bye.